Uh, Jim Ruland, field agronomist with Pioneer Hybrids. Uh, we're here in South Dakota, in middle of South Dakota, central South Dakota, and uh, we found a new pest that we don't normally see around here, the soybean gull midge. And uh, we've seen that a little bit in the past here, but we're seeing a lot in several uh, fields around the area. And uh, what it is, is it attacks uh, the, uh, the soybean plant at that soil line or about an inch above the ground. That midge can be any, anywhere from clear, white, orange, red. Uh, we see a lot of different species out here. Uh, but it does uh, attack the uh, stem, producing a gall and kind of boring out the center of the, uh, the plant. So again, the universities don't know a whole lot as far as thresholds and, and uh, treatment levels. That'll be something that'll be done here along with the industry folks. Uh, it's not just uh, isolated this field. We've got a field to the north and a field to the south that we, we do see this in. And uh, again, uh, relatively new, but I thought this is something that needs to be brought to our attention. If it does attack the uh, uh, edges of the field, we do see that. And uh, what we do notice here, these beans look pretty dang good, but we do notice that uh, we're starting to see these beans snap over at that one inch level. And once we kind of bore into that, we do see these larvae. So stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, again, it is the soybean gall midge. Okay, here's an effect of a snap plant after the wind. This one is intact. This one snapped. This one snapped. This is prematurely died. This is intact. This is snapped, this is intact, this is, but I want to show you how easy. You notice that snapped very easily, just putting some side pressure like that, due to the fact there's feeding that's gone and taken place at the basal part of that plant. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.